All right, guys, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be breaking every Maki from worst to best. Now, for all the Makis, almost every single one has had a final mode drop since my last one. There's also been a lot of buffs and nerfs to these Bloodlines themselves. You know, it's it's just been a very long time since the last time I've ranked the Maki. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, subscribe to the video, guys. By the way, I am going to be going into a little more, bit more detail on the Bloodlines in this video. So if you're interested in that, this is the video for you. I'm also going to be including Minikaze because he is Naruto's dad. Minikaze is sort of a Senko mixed with Maki Bloodlines. Line, so I'm just gonna throw it into here because why not? There's not that many Maki bullets in the game. I don't think it really matters. All right, so starting off with the worst Maki in Shindle Life, and what has always been the worst Maki in Shindle Life is gonna be my personal spec Jera Maki, uh, the user of Variety Mud. Now Jera Maki here, um, it's always been pretty terrible. Now I do, I will say this: the mode of Jera Maki is honestly pretty good. The mode is probably the only thing that is worth using, but you know, with the actual power scaling that has happened recently in Shindle Life, the mode is pretty terrible compared to a lot of the newer modes. I mean, that's just what happens in video games the mode is fine now but it isn't nearly as good as the other modes are now before i start talking about the mode you actually do have the first booty jeremaki which actually is a one of the shortest place lock stuns in the game and overall just in a extremely underwhelming you know stun in general now the the cool thing about this move is it actually can turn into an aob move around you but you have to not be close for, to someone for this to actually activate so i'm gonna go ahead and use the first booty here he's not gonna be close to me and when they walk into it it actually will stun them which is actually a really cool thing. It also does a little bit of damage stacking, which is pretty cool. It's an okay defensive ability, but it honestly just doesn't last long enough to be any use whatsoever. If the actual move AoE lasts a little bit longer, it would actually be a pretty okay move. Now, the second move is not inherently bad, but it is a type of pull move that, you know, obviously it pulls people towards you. Now, as you guys can see, the person actually does get glitched from this, which makes the ability uh, pretty, pretty bad in 1v1s because they can literally just jump afterwards and escape anything you do. It also just straight up glitches their character out which is kind of you know trolly and funny at the same time but frankly you know it's a glitch that's been in the game for literal like almost half a year probably should have been fixed by now but it is what it is now without this glitch the move the move would be okay the range on it is one of the smallest you know pull pull move ranges if not the smallest in the entire game it's absolutely tiny aoe almost impossible to hit on anyone unless you're actually just doing a straight up m1 combo now speaking of moves that are impossible to hit let me introduce you to the three hand sign three second startup move that doesn't even trigger the explosion as soon as you do it the stun afterwards doesn't even block break it doesn't even ragdoll as you guys can see and it doesn't even do that much damage so what is the reward you say for landing a three hand sign three second startup move which is one of the hardest to hit moves in the game you get a whole whopping 50 to 60k damage in mode plus a little bit of hit stun attached to it congratulations you just used one of the absolute most worst moves in the game but yeah i'm not lying when i say this jabra third move is genuinely one of the worst moves in the game Game. on the off chance you actually do hit it it most likely will mess up your combo rather than help it because the explosion i'm pretty sure it will actually stun cancel on people just stay away from this move overall now the c spec of G now the c spec of jeremaki isn't that bad the stun doesn't work if they're actually blocking if they're blocking it doesn't block break they pretty much just the move triggers but they can just block and dash around while the move is actually going on the weapon spec is one of the best things of the mode in my opinion it actually is a lot like six path normaki third ability it was probably the inspiration for that but you can actually click at the end of it to actually start a combo the knockback does allow you to start combos it's an okay ability overall and it does allow you to escape and probably the single best thing of the mode are the m1s which do a lot of damage the knockback was removed from them as you guys can see m1 combo stun m1 combo already hits 150k m1s are probably the only good thing about this mode and it's pretty funny to use overall the company fifth place is actually going to be kamaki now kamaki here the mr kamaki awaken the ultimate god mode of kamaki which is like one of the worst ultimate god modes in the game it's right here baby let's go so besides the underwhelming stats for the actual god mode the first ability kamaki has too much end lag to actually do anything with uh it's also very counterable as an ability overall so if you're yeah, overall like this ability it's just it's kind of one of the hardcore avoid ones it would be a really really amazing initiation ability it used to be because you used to be able to copy abilities with it but i would say for this ability overall it's just really not that great of initiation ability now the second ability you guys would think that this ability is okay i mean like oh yeah cool Thirty-four thousand damage you know it's extendable off combos and things like that and and yes, this ability is fine, uh, but that's not even the best part of this ability. It also is a pretty much an infinite breakaway, you know, ability in general that allows you to escape combos at pretty much as often as you need to, which is a really cool side plus to it. I mean, like if you're getting your butthole combo together, you can just teleport away, which is a very, you know, a very handy thing to have. But having this on your actual, uh, you know, bloodline slots, 
coupled with the fact that it takes a lot of chi to use and to teleport to people you'd be surprised how like how often you run out of chi while using this the actual booty itself does take a lot of chi to activate and clicking on the actual cubes does take 10k chi which isn't that much but when you're usually when you're getting combat by someone you're already low on chi now the third ability of kamaki is a very weird one if you guys use an aoe ability before you start actually going into it like look you could teleport to someone and then use an ability and stuff like that you can also hold hand signs before you use it let me just show you real quick all right ember hurricane so you can you can click it after using a taiji's ability and stuff like that there's some really cool things you can do with it but the worst thing a part of it is that it's actually on the auto dodge global cooldown but it's worth mentioning that if you click far away you can actually make a portal and go through it which is like you know i'm out of this i'm out of this location you know what i'm saying but on to the third mode of kamaki here the third mode of kamaki is an it's an overall a really you know weird mode the actual weapon spec is probably the best part of it it's an extremely long iframe ability which is obviously you know not on a global cooldown because it's on a mode spec the actual throwable is just a basic knockback move you can't actually end combos with it and things like that and then the c spec is a basic dash combo any move c spec you know c spec combo any moves are the most basic ones in the game it's not really anything special to go home about people are mainly going to be using this for the actual weapon spec so you guys may be thinking oh you know that doesn't seem that bad it has a lot of usefulness a lot of utility attached to the actual bloodline itself why is it ranked so low well the utility of this bloodline is pretty you know terrible when considered with the global cooldowns the you know one of the moves have which the third one auto dodge global cooldown obviously isn't great and then the second move also has a you know five cycle cooldown attached to it um 99 of the time you're not going to have a cube out when you're actually in a combo unless you're constantly spamming this and if you're constantly spamming the ability you're going to be always out of chi and the actual mode itself is pretty subpar for an ultimate mode all right so coming in fourth place is going to be narmaki now this is probably going to be the only one i'm not really going to go into detail about because there's not really much to say about narmaki itself now the the, the thing it is absolutely carried by is the baron mode baron mode stats are absolutely amazing I'm, it's, I'm pretty sure it's one of the highest if not one of the if not the highest c mode that isn't on any you know cooldown isn't on any you know timer or anything like that it also doesn't even drain that much mode either it, it only drains about it looks like 45 a second which may seem like a lot before these stats it's you know pretty low overall now the actual m ones of the mode do chi drain i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself by doing the mode so i'm just gonna wait to do that so the first ability in armaki is pretty terrible overall there is no knockback attached to it anymore which does make it so people can actually counter it very easily the second move is a block break move but has so much startup attached to it that it's easy to avoid and or you know get out of entirely and then the third move of Noramaki is a basic you know damage nuke ability but it doesn't even do that much damage anymore because it was actually nerfed so it is on, not only stun global cooldown anymore but it is one of the highest cooldowns in the game on any ability whatsoever and it also is pretty hard to hit on someone that is moving so it's kind of just a combo locked ability now the actual mode is the reason why Noramaki is going to rank you know not last the actual mode first of all has very good stats the abilities are pretty okay combo extenders and you know overall this mode will actually carry a lot of people that are not that great at this game now coming in third place is going to be six path narmaki the most recent nar the most recent maki in the game now i am going to be showing you guys the second mode instead of the first mode the first mode is just inherently a complete worse version of the second mode i would just recommend you don't use it if you if you don't have the second mode but for this actual bloodline let's get started with the the obvious best ability of this actual move set it's the frog now the frog was actually added to a a auto dodge global cooldown which did make the move a lot worse in general also the move you can't trigger it mid combo anymore so it's kind of just it's literally just an auto dodge now i mean that's the easiest way of saying it it's very comparable to riser first ability it's pretty much just an auto dodge now that can be countered it, it, if you if you use it on someone they use something like doku tengoku counter as it's slamming down on you you will get your you will get your butthole countered which is very cool but i do actually think that this move itself is an okay move overall it's the best move of the bloodline besides the mode now i'm gonna show you guys this second move this second move has an absolute fat a aoe as you guys oh okay so uh, they apparently nerfed the aoe but the aoe is still larger than the actual move itself it's pretty easy to hit move it's just a very basic you know knockback move it's kind of like tengoku second but if you dashed before you actually used it now this first ability is almost impossible to hit on anyone that is actually you know playing shindle life if they're not afk at their keyboard you know slapping some cheeks together let's just say that you're never going to be hitting this move it's just a basic air combo extending move uh the gap doesn't matter in it now the the mode is probably the reason why it's going to be ranking this high it is the one of the highest if not the highest damage mode in the game currently it also has one of the highest damage counters in the game and the stats of the mode are absolutely amazing by also not draining that much mode the actual m1s are also ranged and do do a lot of damage as well and i do actually think that the third move and the mode of this bloodline definitely carries it really hard now coming in second place is going to be boromaki now boromaki let's get started with this i actually do not have the third mode on my main account but i actually do know what the third mode does i'm just going to go ahead and go through what the third mode does obviously guys has really high stats overall it's kind of you know very similar to the kamaki final mode stats the actual m1s are just you know basic buffed m1s they do have a bit of aoe attached to them and they do knock back 
a bit, but overall, they're just going to be okay overall. Uh, the Q spec is a sort of slamming ability. It really isn't, you know, that bad overall. And I do think the C spec does a lot of damage. It's, a, you know, it, it's just a really good ability in general. The third mode of Boromaki is generally pretty good for PvP, but not good for PvE content. Now, let's get started with the actual ability since I have them on my main account. The first ability of Boromaki would be a good ability, but it has no iframes attached to it, meaning that you could pretty much instantly get counter ban anyone. It's basically a significantly worse version of Minikaze second, which is already not that great of an ability, even though it's been majorly buffed. Now, the second move of Boromaki is part of the reason why it's in second place besides the actual mode is a auto dodge counter hybrid. Basically, it's Ryan Ren sec it's Ryan Red's second move, but it teleports them to you instead of teleporting them in switching places. It's a really good ability, especially for catching people off guard, because most of the time when they're comboing you and there's a gap in it, you could activate this ability, run back a little bit. They're like, oh, what's going on? I seem to have missed my combo. And then they grow like a, you know, a white mustache and turn old. But the, you know, the second ability in general, it's a really good ability. It can catch people off guard a lot of time. It also allows you to extend combos if, you know, if you don't have a combo extender available at the time. And the cooldown isn't absorbently long, so it is okay ability overall. Now, the third move of Boromaki is the lag no jutsu move, where basically you use three hand signs to completely crash someone else's computer due to the amount of lag it causes. Now, jokes aside, the ability is pretty terrible overall. It's an okay zoning ability before counters became meta. But now that counters are meta, you're going to get your cheeks slapped together if you use these because they're easily counterable. So you guys may be asking, just like with Kabaki, why is it ranked second if you're saying all these negative things about it? Well, sir, because the second ability is probably one of the single best moves on the auto dodge global cooldown because it is, you know, you guys know how good counters are in this meta. It's basically a counter mixed with an auto dodge. You can use it as an auto dodge. You can use it as a counter and it's almost uncounterable as an ability because you don't even need to click on them to use it. I mean, like it's just an okay ability overall. And then the third mode of Boromaki is also insanely good for PvP content. By the way, guys, what is your favorite Maki in Shin Life? Remember to comment below. We'll be checking them out. Now, coming to first place is going to be Minikaze. Now, of course, I am going to be going through all the changes of Minikaze, just so you guys know. Minikaze does actually have a Baron mode, so I'm going to go over the Baron mode first because it isn't on my main account. So, the Baron mode C spec is just a basic, th it's it's like the third move, but as a C spec. There's not really, like, it's just all there is to it. It's like the third move, but you have to dash into someone. And it's just a basic, basic combo setting C spec. As I've said previously in the video, they're not that good. It's kind of hard to right mouse button C spec during a combo unless you actively have them stunned. So it's not going to really do you any favors. The throwable of it is just kind of like a basic damage ability overall. Uh, it can be used to black break, but it has a lot of startup attached to it. And it's just very inconsistent as an ability in general. It's it's an okay ability, don't get me wrong. But it, like I said before, it's very inconsistent. And the, the chance of you hitting this is almost non-existent on anyone that is moving. The web spec is literally just the first ability C spec. There's not, <laughs> there's not really a first mode C spec, which I'll show you guys right now. It's just going to be a, you know, an ability that teleports to someone. It does do a time stop ability. It has a little bit of block break potential but it doesn't block break stronger block now the baron mode even though it actually is okay overall it is the reason why it's going to be ranked first on the maki list now if you don't think minikaze is a maki just remove it from the list and move everything else one up but minikaze itself obviously guys the second move did have it you know it's it, the second move got majorly buffed it has full iframes now it does block break it block breaks no matter what now but it does sometimes have a very tiny gap in the second move it is random it randomly happens but if the gap happens you can get countered so just be aware of using the second move raw on people most of the time it doesn't have a gap but there are times it will have a gap and it can end up in you losing so just keep that in mind but besides the gap it is a you know it's just a basic combo starting ability it does block break like i said before and it does ragdoll it does have iframes attached to it if it wasn't for the gap this ability would be absolutely busted but since the gap is there it's just an okay ability overall now the third move is pretty much like it is it is quite literally the exact same as the old third move but it just lasts longer that's kind of all there is to it it's like the old third move but it lasts longer i mean there's not much else to say about it it's a oh it's a really good combo extending move and it can't hit people from far away you can't snipe people with it and you can catch people off guard quite a bit with this ability as well now the first move in minikaze did receive some buffs now it still does the teleporting thing where if you click on the top of it you can't actually still teleport to them but if you actually hit them with it you can actually use the first ability and it does do a mini time stop on them so boom first ability and then 40k damage and it teleports you to them i mean it most of the time you're not going to be using this it's kind of hard to hit this you know in the middle of combat but you might be able to snipe someone with this it also does a lot of damage honestly for being a two second cooldown ability it's super spammable but as you guys see it does have a cooldown afterwards so that's something you have to keep in mind but i do actually think minikaze overall is in really really good bloodline now i do think the third move you know every single move of minikaze is very usable which none of the other makis can say for it and i do think the baron mode does you know does ink itself up towards first place over boromaki anyways guys that's before the this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, post, guys. Bye bye.